welcome back to my channel. Today is a Bee Gees day and we are still in F. We are talking about 1st of May and I went and dug this out because I wanted to show you guys. Here is my dad's original Odessa album and look at it is two albums like that. There's the list of songs. I don't even know what that is. No idea what that picture is. Interesting. Hmm. But it's like a velvety cover and it smells really, really bad. It's like ugh, my hand smell just touching it. But I thought it was pretty cool because some of the velvet is still there. Some of it is not. Look at that piece. Oh, well. Anyway, yes. First of May, you know why this song is so important? Because this song was released in January of 1969 and they were going, they were like kind of fighting, <laughs> I want to say, because Barry does the lead vocal on this song and the other song, Lamplight, which ended up being on the B side of the 45, was Robin's song. Okay, so there was kind of this like discussion about which song was going to be released as a single. And I guess they decided on 1st of May. I guess Barry and, I don't know, I don't know who else, but the powers that be decided that it was going to be 1st of May. And Robin left. And they say on Wikipedia that none of the songs were then released, that that was the only song released as a single. And I'm going to look at that. I want to see something, if I know. Hmm, I'm seeing Melody Fair on there. That's the only other one I really see, but maybe they put that on another album. I don't know, but they say this is the only song released on that two album album, <laughs> two record album. That was it. Double album. They only had one single. Isn't that crazy? Um, it was written by all three of them. Like I said, Barry sings the whole song. It's very cool. Okay, it's like an orchestra, and I'm going to put the link below. You got to listen to it. And, you know, it's a short song, and it's just his voice is so, like, I don't know. It's almost like he's crying. I don't know. I When I listened to it, I was like, I so remember this song and the emotion that this song, like, brings up. I don't know. I'm going to read to you the lyrics. This is uh, the very first part of the song. When I was small and Christmas trees were tall, we used to love while others used to play. Don't ask me why, but time has passed us by. Someone else moved in from far away. So it, it like has this really sad like tone to it. So I want to say it's almost like kind of a depressing song. But then when I listen to it, like, I don't know. It brings back a lot of childhood memories, so I think they just get mixed up in there. But um, yeah, it, it didn't even do that well in the U.S. It only went to 37 on the charts, and the U.K. it went to number six, which, you know, at that time in 1969, that really wasn't that good for them. So um, the good news is that Robin did come back, as we know, right? And I kind of remember my dad talking about that. I kind of remember him saying something about the new Bee Gees or the Bee Gees had broken up and now they have a new band, which is really just the three of them, right? So it's kind of, kind of interesting. But anyway, I still love doing this. I still love watching. And I still watch a, like um, an interview on them almost every single day. I, I learn, learn so much about them. I am just amazed by them. I don't know if it's ever going to go away. I keep saying I'm going to move on to other songwriters and I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. Well, maybe I'll figure something else out to do with them. I, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look when that come, when that time comes. So we'll just deal with this right now. Thank you for watching. If your name is Ian, hit like. I need your like. If your name is not Ian and you like these, please hit like. And um, I can't wait till next time. So have a great day, everyone.